Today I'm going to show you how to test four different battery types. A 12 volt VRLA application, a 12 volt UPS application, a 2 volt VRLA series, and a 2 volt VLA series. Let's start with a 12 volt VRLA application. This 48 volt DC plant consisting of four 12 volt batteries. Start by powering up your tester. If you're testing a new string, you'd follow the steps I showed you in our tester setup video. Since this is a string I've already tested, I'm going to the battery test menu and pick existing. The site, the battery plant, and the correct string. And double check to make sure the setup information is correct. Go down to the option eight, which is save, and then choose save and test. The first step is to take the temperature. Remember, get the Advantage Digital's built-in temperature sensor within two inches of the negative pulse of the cell and press the F3 key. Now you can start testing the string. Follow the directions on the Advantage Digital and start with jar one. You can use probes or clamps for this kind of application. Put the clamps and probes on the positive and negative terminals. Notice the LEDs. They have gone off when you have a good connection. The Advantage Digital beeps when the test starts, and when you hear a double beep, you will know the test is finished. If you hear a triple beep, that means the cell is out of tolerance. Now you can continue with the next battery in the series, following the direction of the connectors. And you're finished when you test the final battery in the string. Then review your results. And if you need to retest a battery, here's how to do that. Press the retest hot key, and follow the prompts on the screen. Then your results are automatically saved and you can go back to the main menu to start another test or power off. The process is the same to test a 12 volt UPS series, except you're going to use the probe extenders. Just remove the thumb screws from the probes and then use those same thumb screws to attach the extenders to the probes. The reason we use extenders in this type of application is safety so you don't have to reach in with your hand to connect to the batteries. Since you're not clamping onto the terminal, adjust the probe head to the optimal angle to make sure you're getting a good connection. And then just either follow the connections through the series or follow the diagram that is often inside the cabinet door. The process is the same to test a two volt VRLA. I'm going to use clamps for this setup, but you could use probes, depending on the particulars of your test. If the stack has six post batteries, you test the center post. With four post batteries, test the diagonal post. And then just follow the connections through the series. The final installation I'll show you how to test is a two volt VLA series that falls under NERC compliance for PRC-005. The tester setup steps are the same. Except you will need to remember that you'll need to test the intercell connection for NERC compliance under PRC-005. The testing process is the same too, except that after you test the first cell, you'll disconnect the clamp from the negative terminal and connect it to the positive terminal of the next cell to get the intercell strap connection measurement. That measurement is recorded in microohms. Now you can disconnect the clamps and continue with the next cell in the series following the direction of the connectors. Remember, the Advantage Digital automatically saves your tests, which you can easily upload. For more information, check out the other instructional videos in the series and refer to your Celtron Advantage Digital User's Guide.